Okay, this is just a quick little demo of this new circuit here that I made. Uh, it's basically a servo sequencer. It's a three position servo sequencer. Uh, and it's programmable, so you could program it for uh, any positions, such as, you know, that would be one, two, and then three, or something like that. And what it does, it will cycle every time you trigger the channel via a servo channel, probably using a gear switch on your transmitter or something like that. Every time you toggle it, it will go from one position one to two, then two to three, and then from three back to two, and then two back to one, and it keeps repeating like that. One, two, three, two, one, two, three. So the way you program it is I'll turn the transmitter on for us. Um, you need a channel to program it with. Now. So I'm going to use the throttle channel, this stick here, and that's channel three. I'm going to power up the receiver first. Transmitter is already powered. And how you get it into program mode is you're holding this button here, and then you plug it into whatever channel you want. And I'm going to plug it into channel three, and you wait until the LED comes on, and then you can let go. And you can see the servo is following my stick here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that as one, that is two, that is three. So I'll go to one here, and it can position it anywhere I want, but I'm going to go pretty close to the end, back off a little. And then all you got to do is tap this button. Now you do to position number two, tap the button, and then you go to position number three, tap the button. All right, and it blinks a couple of times and lets you know that those are programmed now. And all you got to do now is I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how I'm going to demo it with my gear channel switch. I'm going to plug it into channel five here. Whatever the switch is in, it's going to assume, you know, when you plug it in, it's going to assume that's the off position. So it doesn't matter where you have the switch. I'm just going to leave it forward. Actually, I'll leave it back. So when I pull it forward, it will trigger. And I'm going to plug it into channel five without holding the button in now. It blinks a couple of times. And the first thing it does is it goes to position one. That's where I programmed it. And then the, to go to position two, I just toggle the switch. Position three. Do it again, goes back to position two, position one. And if you leave it on, it doesn't go cycling through them. You have to, you have to toggle it off and back on. And we'll just keep doing that, one, two, three, two, one. And if you really want to get, that's it. That's pretty much the way it works. If you want to really get like funky, it doesn't, the, the positions don't have to be in order. So I'll just mess around with something on like that just to show you. So say I want that to be 1, tap the button, that to be 2, tap the button, oops, I think I messed up, let's try that again. Okay, so I'm going to make that position 1, that position 2, and then this position 3. And you plug into channel 5 which is my gear channel. So that's one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one. But the use of this is someone wants to use this for shifting gears on a car. So you basically want to go from one to two to three, and then instead of jumping all the way back to one, you might want to go back to two and then the one, not to ruin any gears. So that's the way that works, and it's all programmable for any three positions that you want. Um, that's it.